Hello guys, in this lesson we're gonna learn how to add food or categories but from inside the app dynamically not statically we have created our functions here add category and add food but those are static values like the title and the image url now we want to make a new screen with the inputs to allow user to add title and image url and prices okay so now let's create that screen let's create a new screen with add food or category dot tsx and let's create a functional component okay let's change that button add category or to make it add category or food and when we press on it we're gonna make a navigation when we press add that button add category or food let's let's move to adding screen navigation dot navigate we need to use import the navigation property first so let's put it here in props navigation dot navigate and the screen is gonna be navigate add category or food screen let's put the name here but we need to put it in our stack first inside navigation inside inside my stack let's copy that line and paste our add food or category and let's remove that button that the add food button now when we press here we should go to add food or category screen okay so now let's add here our inputs style justify content center align items center as well text input since it's not a ui course i'm gonna use the core components of react native but if you want to create a custom wonderful text input i have left you a link in the description you can check it and this tutorial is gonna make you from zero to hero in building ui okay let's add a text input of placeholder but let's make that felix one placeholder category name and another one for category image url okay and button with title add category okay now we have here a category name text input category image url and a button to add that category okay so now let's control our inputs we can control them using use state hook const if you are not familiar with the use state hook i have a, left a video in the description you can check it and learn how use state hook is working in react native okay so now first category name and set category name equals to use state and it will be string okay that's just a spelling error okay let's duplicate this and make it image url image url okay now to control text input we have two important properties and those are value and it, it's the initial value and like that like that input string if we put it here this text input have that input string if we put aaa look the text input is aaa but we want to leave it as input string and only change text only change text and it's a function that take the text we've entered as argument and we can set our category name to that text that t means the text let's type it like this to understand me now if we press a a a a a the value of that text input is a a a a i'm gonna show you let's log that variable getting name and save and look here a a a a that's the value of category name value of category name is a a a 
and we can change it for example to be o o o o now now we have controlled our the category name let's control our the image let's cut or copy those two lines and paste them here let's remove those spaces and we are gonna just replace the category name with category image url and set category image url okay now let's press save and let's add our function that we have written before look at that function we have created in the in the previous lesson let's copy it and put it here const add food let's import just our fire store we can just import it from like that import fire store from react native firebase fire store okay and let's just add on press to be add the category when we press on add category a new category is gonna post it in our database but look here we're gonna post a new category with the title of vegetables and that image url and we don't want that we don't want to make it static i want to post the data that we have written here so let's replace the vegetables with that variable category name and let's replace that image url with that with that category image url now when we press here we're gonna post the data just just we type here let's test it for example let's use that image let's copy the image url of it and let's add a salad salad and so in the title and image url we're gonna paste the, our the the link that we have copied from that image and let's finally let's please just add navigation to go back because i want to go back to home screen when i add something okay so let's add navigation let's add it first in the props dot go back and now let's test it let's press here now we have added the food we have just yes we have it here a salad a salad dish has been added in our category with the image that we have using okay now let's repeat those steps when adding food okay we we are here in add food or category screen just to scroll down and create let's first copy the function of add food here and paste it here that function we have made it in the previous lesson please check the previous lesson to have a good understanding of that lesson please okay now let's add that alert that's to handle errors okay we we need here three properties image url title and price so let's create three use states hook one two three the first is gonna be food title okay the second is gonna be food image url the third is gonna be food price. Great, isn't them? And let's also create uh, three text inputs with a button of add food. Let's copy that text input and just replace that with food title. And the value is gonna be food title and set food title. Let's create another one for the price or for image URL. It's gonna be food image URL. And that's it, food image URL. And this is gonna be image URL. And let's create the last one, the, le the last text input. Food price, set food price. And that's gonna be food price. And finally, let's add our button, add food, add food, with a function, add food. Okay, I think my code is not formatted. If, if you want to format it, just highlight it all and press command and K and F. Or control and K and F if you're using Windows. So now let's press save. Let's add just some margin here. To separate the food from the category i know it's the uh, the bad ui but it's not a ui course it's a firebase course firebase fire store course so i don't want to waste the time of of react native developers who can implement the screens and so okay
So now our last thing, we just need to replace those statics data. For example, that price is gonna be food price. That title is gonna be food title. That image URL is gonna be food image URL. And let's press save. And now let's testing add food, but don't forget to navigation don't go back first. Navigation don't go back when we add food, okay? So now let's try to add that food with that image. Since we don't have a French fries, so let's add it. Fries with that image URL here. Let's copy it and paste it here. And the food price is gonna be 1,000. <laughs> it's just for testing. Now let's press on add food. Great, food added and let's, wow, our fries is here with $1,000. <laughs> it's the most expensive food I see here. Let's try to add another one. Let's use that steak image to add that food, steak. And with that image URL, And the price is gonna be, for example, 23 or 233. And let's add food. Food added and let's scroll to see our food. Great, that's our steak with $233. Wait for next lesson to learn how to delete those foods and delete those categories. I hope that lesson was easy to you. And if you have any troubles or anything, please just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.